It came today. Oh, snip. That's how it was. That's probably never going to come. I don't know which ones you ordered. You ordered that? No, I did not. You did not? I did not. Okay, I didn't either. Yeah, that's tough. I think I probably ordered that. You ordered this? Yeah, I did order that. Okay, one. okay. <laughs> and that one, no, I ordered that one. I ain't got, oh. Ooh. Cute. You got that one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. Yeah. I had just those. I thought I had five too. Could I? <laughs> I know I know I had these three. Okay. And then I had like a dude with a crown. This no. That's nothing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the heck that is. And then this, I know I got this girl, this girl, these for sure. Yeah, you had those but are I'm all like, yours. I, was, those are all You had I those in the fist. Those are the only ones you asked for. So I'm missing a fist. You're just missing a fist. And you got your fist, but you're missing a guy. I'm missing a dude. Yeah. And I think actually else. I think actually I did cuz I think we had 10 total. So yeah, no, maybe those were the only four I had. So I'm just missing my guy and you're missing a fist and we got that extra. Mm -hmm. But boom. They said here, we ain't got the other so. Facts, right? Take this. One of the things that I feel like I'm grateful for with living at home is like having my mom like available to handle all of like the extra adult things in my life you know what I'm saying I don't like making appointments I don't like calling places and shit my mom like handles that for me so I'm very grateful for all that I'm assuming by the summer if not by the summer definitely by the fall we'll be back at full force as a society um, but yeah, I'm not an anti-vaccine person at all. Obviously, uh, you know, COVID's been a thing for a minute, right? There was like a Halloween spike back in November where like the numbers jumped crazy high because a lot of MFers went out for Halloween. I got a test for Santino's wedding. Easy, easy test to get. That's probably like what a month after the soft reopening. Fucking getting a test after the spike was so rough. It was so hard to get a test. The lines were fucking huge. Um, appointment places were getting booked up instantly. It was just stressful, you know what I'm saying? I've been hearing the vaccine thing's been stressful too. And like, I'm just not really in the business of going through all that stress again. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to sit here and try to book fucking a, a spot and have them fucking fill up. Just like fucking shoes and shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I'm not trying to catch vaccine L's along with my sneaker L's, you know what I'm saying? But my mom, she isn't like as bothered by all those things. She keeps asking me and I'm like, yeah. And she's like, when are you gonna do it? I'm like, whenever, you know, just like relax about it. Cause I'm a chill guy, you know? Um, and so I'm like, if you wanna go out and find me a vaccine spot appointment, feel free. Like I will go, I'm just not going to make the effort to right now because it's wild out there it's gonna take too much effort and time and shit and she's like all right cool i'm looking that's great i can get a vaccine fucking tomorrow and not have to have stressed about it you know what i'm saying so i'm grateful for that i'm grateful for the the little positive things that come with still living at home a lot of times i'm really caught up on you know not feeling like a real adult not growing at the pace that i want to grow not only on this channel not only on my social platforms, but like, you know, in life period, you know what I'm saying? And so it, uh, sometimes you need those reminders that it's, that, that there's some, some light on this side of things, you know what I'm saying? Life just be like ready, set, go. And the wheels keep spinning and your boy trying to win it, then I'm ready to let go. Or the way things was on the same shit, but it's too late when they get to know. Pity chicken. I mean, butter, butter chicken. You're right. You're yeah. right. Not, oh. not the pity, pity chicken. Just okay, the, just the. Just the butter. All right. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I'm, I, I got you. I got you. You know, because I care about you. I'm not going to just leave you out like you left me out. You know? Oh, no. I won't leave you. <laughs> <laughs> we do the mannequin challenge? Oh, shit. That's crazy. Cause the people in your background still talking, so I know you're not froze. <laughs> Thank you. I think we froze it. I... <laughs> All right, can you see us? Are we moving? I can see the blinds. 
Oh, yeah, because I'm moving the blinds. You don't see nothing moving? I can hear you perfectly fine, though. So I don't have to see you as long as I can hear you. This was what made the day even worse. I'm leaving the studio. I call Shanika right as I'm leaving. Mind you, I'm on the west side where they got the best ghetto food, quick, fast food. Living out here, you got some decent stuff, but when you go to the city, sometimes you want that. I talk to Shanika. I say, hey, I'm on my way home. She said, oh, already? Wow, whoa. I thought you were going to be there all night. You also went to the studio. That's all night, whoa. I'm like, no, I'm gone, you know what I'm saying? Come out. So, basically, <laughs> yeah, I'm at Auntie House. And somebody in the back, I was like, oh, well, and we made butter chicken. I said, oh, okay, cool, I'm on my way. He said, all right, cool. So the fact that somebody said, hey, we made butter chicken at them pies, hey, pull up. Yeah, no, yeah, for sure. I'm like, all right, bet. Nika? Them up, looking at them like, damn, go off and get some butter chicken. I pull up, skirt, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even parked neatly. I just skirt. hop in the crib. What's up, y'all? What's up, Lord? Hey, 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 hey. I go in the kitchen, I see a pan, it's the butter, no chicken, dog. no rice, just the sauce. Yeah, that should be sad, so yeah. And it wasn't even like when I came in and they said something, I went, I was like, damn. Like, ain't no more. They was like, oh, it ain't? <laughs> I was like, no, y'all for real? I don't know. It ain't nothing in there. I said, bro. I came all the way this way. Passed up all this shit. For nothing. What's up, everybody? Um, so, uh, I dropped the video last week. And it's been doing well. Better than... <laughs> Better than anything I've done in a really long time. Actually, maybe better than anything I've done, period. Because I've had videos do good numbers, but I've never had the engagement. To everyone who's commented, to everyone who's watched, to the handful of new subs I've received, thank you so much for that. Like, you know, honestly, I was talking to Danny about it, and this is like no groundbreaking accomplishment. Like, it's not huge, but um, it's like one of the first times I feel like on purpose, I've gotten the reaction I wanted, um, the engagement I wanted, the growth that I wanted. Literally, I saw, I was driving and I saw name pop for like subscribed. And then literally like five minutes later, I saw the Twitter follower. And that's amazing. Like, you know, to, to actually generate a legitimate, like content leads to community. Like, you know, like the one platform leads you to another platform. Like that's like the first time I've ever like seen it like legitimately seen it in action. And so I'm just really grateful um, to everybody who has participated. We're up five subs from from where we were at, just from that one video. And that's awesome, that's fucking great. And it wasn't, it wasn't fake. Like I'm genuinely still, still hurt by how they did my show, dog. So now it's really all about just trying to, um, yeah, 32 comments, 40 likes. Yes, yes, yeah, killing. Well, not killing, it's still not like impressive, but it's like good for what I'm doing. This current run is about more than just being consistent. It's about like ironing it out and working smart as well as hard. I guess my main concern or worry right now is. Um. So here's the thing, I don't usually fall for like Instagram or social media ads, I usually just scroll past them. Um, but lately, lately they've been showing me some cool things. This actually wasn't an ad, but it's been showing up as an ad. Um, but my friend Mikey sent me um, this uh, in my DMs or whatever. It's from Ocean Motion. Uh, they do do rags and bonnets and stuff, right? My hair's out right now, so I can't really take advantage of this yet. But I'm very excited about these purchases right here. These two do-rags right here, right? Got that. That Akatsuki, you feel me? You feel me, you feel me? And then of course, and of course, you know your boy. You know what your boy's gotta get. That good, that good one piece, you know what I'm saying? 
Oh, this shit's fire. This is exciting. Now I've got options. Now I can wear a different one three days a week. You know, I can alternate the three instead of just wearing the same one and then washing it every couple of days. This is nice, low key. Um, obviously, because my hair isn't in position to use them right now, I can't really um, tell you how I feel about them for real. Um, but I'll uh, put a link in the description just because, you know, these things are cool. And they have like normal ones too, but I just seen these, so I was like, you know what? Fuck it, fuck it, we're rolling. I love, like, you know, I love the the, the, the black nerd supremacy that's happening in the world. You know, here's the thing, man. Black people, man, we're magical, dog. We're we're the coolest. We're the greatest. We shape and elevate culture. You know what I'm saying? And so it's great that we are standing in our light when it comes to this nerd shit because now we are, now people are understanding how big of an audience we are in these spaces. And on top of that, we're also getting in these spaces. So then we're starting to make stuff that's cooler for people in these spaces, making stuff for us in these spaces, cooler clothes, um, fashion things, you know what I'm saying? A lot of voice actors are getting into the anime space and I love it. Um, I want to be an anime voice actor one day, but I don't know if I have the voice for it. Do, do you like my voice? Is my voice diverse enough? I don't know. I don't think it is. But uh, that's something you learn, right? Practice? I don't know. A lot of cool things are happening in just culture and stuff and the way things are crossing over um, with like mainstream and pop culture and different aspects of that. And I love it. I love it. I, as somebody who's always consumed that type of shit, somebody who's always paid attention to that type of shit, it's a beautiful thing to see. Okay, so I just got something new in the mail today. I'm going to show you. It's super cool, super special. Instagram and its algorithm, getting better, getting better. Because before they would send me shit and I'm just like, get this off my screen. Woo -woo. But lately, they've been sending me stuff that gets me to click. Um, this popped up on my feed. Idris sent it a few times in our group chat or whatever. Um, this is a package from Gamer Nostalgia. They do this shit by pre-order too, so. I was nervous about the size of it, but uh, I kind of like it. And I like how like deep it goes, pause. Yeah, this is cool. Basically, it's like a diorama and it's from Pokemon. Uh, I got the one with the colors on it just cause I felt like it might be like a little more like detailed and shit, but it's pretty much like a 3D, but like 2D type deal, you know, like put sideways and there it is. But it kind of creates the, the depth in there. And it, you know, has like this initial scene from the Pokemon first gen games, red and blue. You know, like, let me just take this up a notch for you. Let me show you. Uh, why this like inspired me, right? Because as a kid, you know, I'm just here trying to beat up monsters and shit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, my guy Squirtle, you know, everyone likes Charmander, but you know what the truth is? You like Charizard, you don't like Charmander. Charmander's cornball, Charizard's dope, but of the OG3, Squirtle's that guy. The thing right there, every journey begins with a choice. You know what I mean? Choose wisely. I think, I think you can take that with you anywhere in life, you know what I mean? I didn't realize the levels that came with Pokemon until I become a grown man and see this. They were teaching us some very important things. We just didn't realize it because we just want to beat shit up, you know? We gotta make good choices every day. Every day is a choice. You definitely peep their Instagram and their website. Um, they have like, they don't just, it's not just Pokemon. They have like a lot of retro system stuff. And they have uh, a whole NES, SNES collection that, and GBA that have like a lot of choices. But um, they have like N64 and PS1 and PS2. They only have a couple. I don't know if they're planning on expanding or whatever. But they have a lot of options for a lot of games. Final Fantasy, Mario games, things like that. So if Pokemon's not your jam, but you think this thing is like cool and shit, you know. Um, there's other options out there in the world for you. I got my consoles, my old school consoles up top. These aren't even supposed to be here. I just didn't know where to put them. I'm going to drop you guys. So right here, and we're gonna put this in there. I don't know. I feel like it's like too much top space, you know? I like how the Super Nintendo fits there. I don't know. Let's put it on the desk, you know? 
like over there I'm back just chilling you know as I'm as I'm editing you know I'm getting the work you know I'm reminded I'm reminded to like choose to make the choice to do my work you know what I'm saying I don't know I don't know where I'm gonna put it but uh yeah follow the instagram because they have some cool shit but i think it's cool and i think it's super solid and uh yeah no it's really well done every journey begins with a choice choose wisely my guy choose victory choose dopeness choose choose being fucking solid Like, <laughs> mm -hmm. okay, well, okay. Mm -hmm. I did that. 